Hey everyone, uh, I just wanted to create a quick tutorial on installing Open Nebula 4.0 and setting it up with uh, KVM Hypervisor Host that we can uh, try the entire setup and uh, get a little home cloud uh, lab going for you. Um, just figured some viewers may want to create their own ho home lab to uh, try out uh, the setup and get familiar with Open Nebula and uh, KVM as well. Um, so just kind of serving as a bit of a background for your design perhaps or um, just serving as uh, some background information for uh, my future uh, videos that you have an understanding of how things are uh, connected and uh, how the hosts are set up. Uh, so first, uh, I'm going to be using just uh, my desktop PC, um, it's running VMware Workstation 8, and uh, from within uh, Workstation, uh, I think I'm going to be setting up three VMs. Um, the first one we'll just use as the uh, Open Nebula server, and the other two as uh, KVM hypervisors. Uh, so these two essentially be nested hypervisors uh, running under VMware Workstation. Um, it's not the ideal for performance, but uh, this is going to be a quick uh, lab setup here that we just care about sort of a functional environment. Um, so that should uh, fit our needs just fine. So in addition to the uh, two KVM hypervisors, I um, also have two Dell uh, rack mount servers here that uh, I'm not really using for any uh, project at the moment, so I thought I'd uh, include those in the mix as well, just to be your more sort of typical physical um, uh, host design there. Um, I should also point out the desktop I'm using uh, has 24 gigs of RAM in it, um, should be sufficient to uh, create this sort of nested design. Um, thinking I'd probably create these uh, hypervisor hosts with maybe 8 gigs of RAM each. Um, if you don't have uh, that much RAM at your disposal, you can certainly shrink these down to something smaller, uh, like 4 gigabytes or maybe even 2. Uh, just be sure that uh, your uh, sort of nested VMs that you'll uh, start off uh, within these um, will be quite small, like maybe 256 uh, um, megabytes or um, 512 or something like that, just to make sure that uh, you have enough RAM to, uh, to set everything up there. So the uh, network for this home lab, uh, it's pretty much flat just to keep things simple. Uh, for more real world networking designs, you'd probably want to separate um, all these sort of network segments up, um, you know, having like your Open Nebula server and some type of management network, uh, KVM hypervisors and their own sort of host type network, um, you know, potentially a, a different storage uh, network or, you know, all separated up into VLANs or uh, firewalls and what have you. Um, but for this simple uh, design here, we're just going to have everything all interconnected through this uh, switch here on the same uh, same network. And I'm also using a small uh, NAS device, which uh, basically set up a uh, volume here and uh, set it up as like an NFS export uh, that we'll use as uh, shared storage for the KVM hypervisors. Um, it'll essentially allow uh, live migration and uh, that type of functionality there. Uh, so I think that's it. Um, so basically that's a rough design I have uh, in my head at the moment. Um, if things change I'll uh, update this, but uh, I think that's what we'll stick with uh, as I slowly go through the tutorials and hopefully find time to uh, uh, create more shortly. But until then, uh, thanks for watching and uh, check back for uh, more videos soon. Thanks.